I'd like to share with you a true story of a woman executive I worked with several years ago. I'll call her Sharon, just for illustration purposes, and that's not her real name. Now, Sharon is an incredibly dynamic, confident, articulate, intelligent, competent woman. I received a call from her, and our conversation went something like this. Well, I'm in the final round of interviews of a new job. They actually found me. They want to hire me. How am I going to do this job if I actually get it? She said, and she was shaken. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll be successful. Let me just tell you a little bit about the person I'm talking to. Okay. This person, Sharon, was leading teams of thousands of people. And over the years, she had led teams of thousands of people. She was running a multi-million, bordering on billion-dollar business in a Fortune 200 company. She was frequently invited to speak at conferences. She looked like she owned the room. She dressed the part. She seemed very, very confident. Yet here she is on the phone, having a breakdown, which we all do, right? But she's plagued with self-doubt. She's unsure of her worthiness to be at the table with these seemingly other powerful people. And and she was terrified. Whenever there was a situation she was uncomfortable with or there was a situation that others would be judging her or that she wasn't absolutely 100% in control, uh, she would have these what I call power outages and her power would go away it would drain out and she would be terrified every time she was going to speak in publish public even though she got accolades inside of herself she was terrified and anytime she got criticism or feedback she would become incredibly defensive worried um, afraid that she now was failing etc etc Now, while I'd like to tell you this example that I'm giving you with Sharon was isolated and it was just one time and it was just Sharon, I'll tell you the real story is the opposite. One after the other, women executives that I have talked with over the years, and I'm talking about hundreds of women executives, have shared with me these exact same feelings, these exact same power outages, and these exact same doubts, feelings of inadequacy. I'm waiting for someone else to tell me that I belong here. How about you? Have you ever experienced anything like that? Where on the outside you look like you've got it all together and on the inside there's a different story going on? (laughs) 